Well, thank you so much for being here. It's wonderful to have you here. Wonderful to see the band yesterday. One thing we love at Property is eccentric characters, which you clearly are. Thank you, thank you. We also love having people from across the Atlantic. You've come all the way from... New York. New York. Yeah. And so being at a festival over here, how is that? How does that compare to doing festivals over in, in America? Well, for me, you know, because it's a Fairport festival, it's a very magical idea for me. You know, I was a big fan of Fairports in the 60s and 70s, you know, and uh, especially the early stuff, the 60s stuff, you know. So uh, when we came over here to tour, we've toured many years over here, and like uh, low key, most of the time, we did Glastonbury, we jump up every once so I'll do something big and then yeah. go play the punk clubs and such, you know. But uh, people kept saying, you got to play crop ready, you got to play crop ready. And then Peggy got wind of us, you know, and uh, there was some talk back and forth for a couple of years. And then Peggy decided, you know, to sign off on it. And, uh, and then the pandemic hit. So we've been waiting for like two years to come over. And I think, luckily, it made every everybody here wait for us to come over. So uh, yeah. we were like, oh, that's good. They're actually... I think we were the only American band in the lot, right? So, I think so yeah, yes. so it was like, oh, who are these guys? Yeah. So people came with great expectation, and the power of that, the yin power of expectation, pulls things out of you that you can't even imagine. So we're usually pretty good, you know, when we play, but this audience was really ready to go to another, you know, it was like five tabs of acid. Here, yeah, we're going to take you think, somewhere, and it flew, you know. I think that might actually be one of the sort of benefits of people people having to wait so long. Yes, yes. That people have had that time to get familiar with. Yes. There's always people, you know, they announce the bill and you look at who are they? Yeah, you know, it was a setup by the universe for it to be yeah. this way, you know. Yeah, in a, in a strange round of yes. yes. We did a BBC uh, interview this morning, which we figured was going to be, you know, in some tent. But they, they aimed us out towards the crowd in between and a mass of people, they, they were like, oh my God, this is the biggest crowd, the BBC thing, biggest crowd we had. Right. But everybody sang along to the two songs we did. It was like, and we were like almost crying with joy. There's such a, you know, an amazing synergy between the audience and yourself, you know. Once they know that, you know, you're, you're vibing on the same frequencies as them, they just, they cut the rope and you fly up into the sky with them. And I think the kind of music that you play it's perfect for an event like this because I was listening to you yesterday and I almost couldn't pinpoint exactly what the, the sound was. How would you best describe it? Yeah, it's pretty non-linear in a way, yeah. right? You know, we, we, we steal, we absorb things that we love. And we're, we're luckily not stuck in a genre. They always try to put us in, in a genre and you know, say we're American or whatever. There's bits of all things in our music, you know. It's as much British as it is Americana, you know. We were so, in, you know, we're towards the boomers in age, you know. So the British invasion affected us and the British invasion was stealing from the black uncles in America you know it's like it's a big mix of the family trying to find their way back to each other now DNA tells us hey we all are from that we might all be black from Ethiopia you know that we lost something and we divided into a bunch of factions but culture is bringing us all back together so our music's very non-linear and it absorbs from every you know the, the, the temptations affected as much as the Beatles as much as Hank Williams, as much as anything, you know. And we're all, anytime we learn or we meet from uh, meet a person we like, you assimilate the best from those people and try to pass it on to others. And that's what we do. Yeah. And so your music brings with it that kind of, that unity of bringing people together, yes. even if people don't realize it. Yes, you know, yes. Which is, which is wonderful. Um, so thank you so much. Yeah. For that, thank you for coming. And, yeah, and thanks for asking good questions. <laughs> that made it cool. Thank cool. you. Thank you very much. Yeah.